Cruz, I wasn't expecting you. Mr. C, Craig. Hey, Cruz. Everything all right? Well, that's a good question. Eden is in with Sophia. Uh, she wouldn't tell me what's up, but I have a feeling it's nothing good. I saw your father put this gun in the gun cabinet and lock it. And now it's back in the drawer. That's right. Probably put there by the same person who stole the tiara and replaced it with a picture of Lionel and me. It's all a part of the same insanity. I thought this all would have ended with Andre's death. So did we. I guess it hasn't. Mama, you have to tell Cruz about this. My God, Eden, what is happening? I feel like I'm losing my mind. It's just some crazy vendetta against us, against the Capwells. No, it's not. It's against me. It's targeted right at me. Someone is sending me a message, and it's very loud, but it's not very clear. Obviously, I'm... didn't say anything to you? Just that she had an urgent need to talk to Sophia. This sounds like a family matter. Cece, you got a phone I can use? Of course, she's the one in the uh, dining room. Oh, what is this all about, Eden? What's wrong? Mama wants to talk to you both. It's happened again. This is insane. I locked this in my gun cabinet last night. You saw me do it. I had my own key for that. Did anybody else see you do it? There were just the two of us here. How could anyone have known? Maybe they're bugging this place. In my own house? That's impossible. Well, I realize it's uncomfortable to consider, but somebody knew exactly where to look for that thing. This is all getting crazy. You're damn right it is. Andre was supposed to be the center of all this when he was captured. It was supposed to end. Don't you understand that someone is trying to make me suffer for Channing's death? Sweetheart, we'll get to the bottom of this. For what it's worth, I've already got an internal investigation going on within the department to try to figure out who passed the damn gun to Andre while he was in jail. I'll sweep this place for bugs, and I'd like to talk to the people who work for you. Maybe somebody saw something out of the ordinary last night. Listen, I can't stand it anymore. I want you to get rid of that gun. I don't care what you do with it. Throw it in the trash, give it away, sell it, but I never want to see it again, uh, please. Right. CW, this is Cruz. I'm at the Capitol Estate. Yeah, that's 300, 300 Park Lane in uh, Montecito. I'm gonna need an internal uh, get some the electronic eavesdropping. I'm gonna sweep it for bugs. What are you doing? She doesn't deserve comfort. She deserves isolation. Would you like me to take you home? I'm sure this can wait. No, please, I'm all right. You know, there's one thing here I just can't make sense of. What's that? that Shift in focus from Eden to Sophia. When Andre first showed up in town, he was obviously targeting Eden. He was making calls. He broke into the place twice. Whatever he was after was obviously tied to her. And now this harassment is directed at you. I'm the focus. They've used my daughter to get at me. Well, it seems to me that they've actually gotten to both of you. Now, you assume this is tied up in uh, Channing's murder somehow, and I understand why you'd think that, given that the same gun is involved. But Eden had nothing to do with that. There's a piece missing. It's almost like Andre was after Eden, and his accomplice was after Sophia. I... And until we find who we're looking for, we're not going to know why. Damn it, who is it? It's for that Fools. Matter, it's they're running in circles. I'm almost beginning to enjoy this. No. No what? I, I just hate this. 
Uh, Cece, I'm going to take off, but... Uh, the bastard son is making an unannounced visit. The hell do you want, Mason? Nothing you can give me. I've learned that. I'm just along for the ride this time. No, it's Gina who demands your presence. She's outside. Tell her this is not a good time. It concerns Brandon. This may be your last chance. What is that supposed to mean? I'll be right back. You mind? I'll handle it myself. Oh, quite a gathering, this. I can only assume that a new and fascinating disaster has again befallen the Capwell clan. What has Sophia done now? I would have expected something a little more substantial than that from you, Sophia. How's this? Get out now, Mason. I think that's a good idea. How are you still doing here, Mason? He's just leaving. You can throw all the tantrums you want. I don't blame you. In fact, I sympathize with you and your guilt. That is what this is all about. You're finally paying for something you should have paid for a long time ago. It's painful to watch, but probably inevitable. If the laws of nature are in any way related to the laws of morality. But that's a whole different discussion. I don't think we want to get into it. Why don't you get the hell out of my house? Ah, brute huh? force! I am so get out impressed. Of my Sleep well, Sophia. Good night, Dad. What the hell was that all about? Mason was just being his usual jolly self. Sophia, what he said about you holding back a secret, that has no validity, right? Well, I've tried to find a connection uh, between Andre and Eden and myself, and I can't come up with anything at all. Wait a minute. When Andre first started contacting me, he mentioned a place that Le Beat, a cafe that he and I were supposed to hang out in. I didn't know what he was talking about. I'd never heard of the place. Does that ring any bells with you? Le Beat, no. But that was so long ago, and I'd done everything I'd been able to do to forget what happened in Europe. Maybe you should try to remember. That's when all this started. When Andre first stole your diamond and probably first tried to steal the tiara. Princess, you were in Europe the same time... Your mother was, is there any chance she could have crossed paths with Andre and not remember? No. And I couldn't see Mama. That was the time we all thought she was dead. No, that's not true. We did see each other. What? We saw each other, Eden. That's the truth. What are you talking about? We did see each other. Once, in Europe. It was June 13th. It's a date I'll never forget. But that's not possible. I thought you were dead. I, I came know. back to Santa Barbara. I know. Marcella was with me. And he made sure that you wouldn't remember any of this. I'm warning you, Eden. You don't want to hear this. You and Marcello, how? I don't know. Maybe we shouldn't go into this right now. Hey, Mama, you open the door. Please, talk to me. Okay. We saw each other in Monte Carlo. I recognized you right away. And then you recognized me. And baby, I wanted to go to you, and I wanted to talk to you, and I wanted to tell you the truth. And I wanted to hold you, and you were so beautiful, and you were standing there in front of me, but I knew I couldn't. Because I didn't think you could stand it, Aiden. I think it would... I, I was afraid it would tear you apart. I don't remember any of this. So... Marcello stepped in because he thought it would be too much for you. And he was a trained psychologist. And he hypnotized you before the truth had a chance to sink in. You never told me any of this. I know. I haven't told anyone. I just lived with it. And I always wondered if we had played the scene out. Would you have forgiven me a lot easier? Or would you have hated me even more? How could you have done that to me? What right did you have? Because we thought we were doing the right thing at the time. You hadn't seen me for ten years. You didn't know who I was. 
You did it for yourself. You wanted to remain dead to everybody, and I got in the way. That's enough. Time to go. So, oh. Okay, I'm going to oh. take her home now. We'll uh, we'll call you again later. Come on. Oh. Sit for a second. I'll be right. Yeah, darling, uh, migraines or not, I don't like this. I think we need a second opinion. Oh, I'll be all right. Doctor told me it might be this way. Just pull the car around. I'll, I'll be all right. Okay. You've got to learn to start listening to me. I don't want to have to show you how powerful I really can be. I'm fine. The headache's over. It's gone. No. Why is it that I seem to be taking this so much more seriously than you? Are you taking this serious? Yeah. I thought you were pampering me. Well, I'm trying. But... Didn't I... I want you to get better, you know? I just can't believe the story that Mama told me. I mean, I can't believe that I can't remember. Why don't you look it up in your journal and see what happened on that day? See what you wrote. That's a good idea. Mama said it was... June 13th. June 13th. You go upstairs and lie down. Okay. Okay. Just a second. What is this? Days you don't want to remember. Days I've blocked out for you. I'm here to protect you, Eden. Haven't you figured that out yet? From what? From things that could hurt you. Things from your past best left alone. Spare me the theatrics. I'm a grown woman now. You think that makes you safe? You're wrong. I make you safe. There are things from your past you can't know about. Things that will kill you. Darling. What is it? <laughs> what? Baby? Oh my God, you're trembling. What's up? I'm scared. Of what? I don't know. Oh, baby. 